Hi, good morning. This is Ben Noinai, and I'm the founder of CebuanoMusic.com. This is our third video on the series Cebuano Music Lyric Writing Course. In this video, I'm going to show you that Cebuano words have a very unique way of spelling. Now, there are some words that we use in our lyrics that sometimes we use two spellings or two ways to spell. For example, the word guapo, which originally is a Spanish word, and we adopted it into our own Cebuano vocabulary. In Spanish, it is spelled G-U-A-P-O. And then over the years, we invented our own spelling and we substituted the U with a W. And so it's now spelled G-W-A-P-O. Now, we still pronounce it exactly the same way, guapo. And the question is, what do I use in my lyrics? Is it guapo with a U or guapo with a W? <laughs> well, I guess if you are really a true Cebuano lyricist, you're going to use a W because that's how we spell it in Cebuano. But you can also use GU if you want to, just to be true as well to where it came from. Now, you must be aware that 70% of the Cebuano words originate from the Spanish words. So in our ordinary conversation, we use a lot of Spanish words, uh, but we spell them differently in our uh, Cebuano vocabulary. So another example is the word pahiyum. I mean, this is a Cebuano word. It is not a Spanish word. Then again, we have two spellings for this word. Most of the time, we use the letter U in P-A-H-I-Y-U-M, pahiyum. But I also see a lot of lyrics that use P-A-H-I-Y-O-M. So if you're going to pronounce it the way it is spelled, it should be pahiyum, which is very unlikely. So I guess uh, in answer to the question, which spelling should I use in my lyrics? Well, the only measure to determine which of these two spellings you're going to use is the way we pronounce the word. So we pronounce it like pahiyum. So it's like a little bit hard, harder than the Tagalog pronunciation. The Cebuano intonation is a little bit harder than Tagalog. So normally we use pahiyum instead of pahiyom. Those are two examples of how unique we spell our own Cebuano words. Sometimes they are spoken in a very different manner than when we spell them. So there is a bit of discrepancy between how we pronounce the word and how we spell the word, right? Now recently, I saw some Cebuano words on a video. It's a very, very good song. It's a Cebuano rock song, beautifully done. But the spelling of the Cebuano words have been mongrelized, to say the least. So, for example, the word iro, which is spelled supposed to be I-R-O. So we pronounce it as iro, which means a dog. And then in this video, I saw it spelled like E-R-U. And then it was not pronounced like iro. It was pronounced like, it sounded like Japanese. So. Cebuano words pronounced like Japanese and they just distorted all the spellings of the words there. I've got nothing against the music of this particular video, the audio recording, fantastic. But the way the lyrics have been presented and the way the lyrics have been pronounced by the singer, I don't really agree with that. And to me, it is like making fun of our of our language, of our Cebuano language. I salute the, you call it the originality, yes, very new and very unique kind of music. The idea is, you know, like very new. And because it is new, a lot of people would probably be intrigued to listen to it. And some would even say, hmm, they're genius. But look, you just have to make up your mind. If you want to use the Cebuano language in your music, please respect the Cebuano language. Why would you spell the words like Japanese? Or why would you pronounce and sing them 
like you're singing Japanese words. I mean, just make up your mind. Use Japanese words if you want, not the Cebuano language, not the Cebuano words, because I don't think that's really respectful. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. And as composers, as songwriters, there is no limit to our imagination. I really believe that, and I don't disagree with the ingenuity of how um, the song has been composed. I really respect and love the Cebuano language, and I hate it when I see our own Cebuano language being mongrelized, and we can no longer identify it as Cebuano. Now, is it the same as when the new generation of singers pronounce the Cebuano words like they're pronouncing it in English? Or they're pronouncing it like English words? Maybe, but this one is a lot worse because using the Cebuano words and Cebuano language uh, to portray a message of being Japanese is an act of mongrelization of the language. So. When, when we pronounce them like English, I don't think as well it's a good idea. Now, I know there's a lot of foreigners in our island, in the Visayas, you know, in Mindanao, in the Philippines. And for the past few years, this young group who are doing great mission work in the Philippines chose Cebu as their base. Or they've been moving around from island to island, but they particularly love uh, the Cebuano language. And they try to speak the Cebuano language you know, as close to the original as they possibly can. And I, I appreciate that. And uh, they've done a great job in doing that. But hey, they are foreigners. Cebuano is not their native language. So if they make a mistake in a pronunciation, we should be a little bit more forgiving. Not a problem whatsoever. In the same way that um, because English is not our native language, when we pronounce the words in English, we don't normally or usually uh, use the right accent because it is not our mother tongue. Fantastic. So we can all be excused in doing that. But I think it is a mortal sin for a Cebuano to pronounce the Cebuano words in another language or in another uh, pronunciation of another language. Like you make it sound like you're English or American. You see, American English is not the same as English English. Even Australian English is quite different. So there are so many different accents. So we need to be true to our own Cebuano accent. And this is what I really am saying in my appeal to all the Cebuano composers and songwriters and lyricists and singers. Let us be true to our own Cebuano accent.